Hey guys, Kerry Holzman here with New Egg TV, and we're here at the Linksys Belkin WeGo booth. Uh, with me is Imre Carlos. And what do you do for Linksys? I do the open source firmware support for the WRT line. What's new about it? Well, it has a way newer hardware, way better performance. The newest uh, WRT 900 ACS has a dual core 1.6 gigahertz CPU. That's almost as fast as my laptop. Yeah, it's yeah. about as fast as your desktop for a few years ago. Now, for people who go, I don't understand any of what he just said as far as like open source router, can we put this in as perspective as to what you can accomplish with this router versus uh, what you couldn't do with an ordinary router? Okay, um, installing an open source firmware actually gives you access to the full potential of the hardware and you can absolutely cherry pick the solutions you want to. So for example, you can use it as a NAS, as a storage device for everything on your network. You can stream your movies from it. So it can be like a DLNA server? Absolutely. But, but I mean, there are routers out there that already have these features built into them. But this router, we were talking a little earlier, you mentioned the ability to segregate a network out into segments. Absolutely. Every Ethernet port can have its own network. You can uh, use the USB port for like a time capsule backup. It's a feature that uh, is not available in the factory firmware, but you can do it in the open source version. Well, that's the beauty of the open source, right, is that we can sit and talk about features we know of today, but somebody out there could modify the open source code and add new features. Right. So, for example, the hardware has a hardware encryption. And with the OpenWRT, you can use it for wire speed uh, VPN access. Excellent. Okay. And then that's a lot cheaper than getting some of these VPN specific routers or network segmenting uh, hardware routers that can be very costly. That's one point. The other point is that you actually know what's running on the hardware. You have full access, you can customize everything. But not all the Linksys routers are open source, right? No, not all of them. So if a buyer wants to buy one with open source, what are they looking for on the box? They should look for the WRT line. If it's WRT, it is open source? It's open source, yeah. Are these available now? Absolutely. The newest model has uh, even a faster CPU and half a gig of RAM. Well, listen, thank you for taking the time to uh, uh, introduce us to the, the latest and greatest from Linksys. And we look forward to seeing what the future holds. Thank you. It was right. my pleasure.